Hello community! I just read here a tweet about the newest Wizard Coder 34B based on Code Llama. Code Llama came out two days ago, so I said, amazing! And then here in the post I write, hey, we surpassed GPT-4, ChatGPT, and Claw 2 with our Wizard Coder. And I thought, hey, that is great, because I remember in the official meta publication here for the human evaluation pass one that was 67%. So in, in the official press release, there was also by meta GPT-4 here on this particular evaluation, human evaluation was 67%. And then I go here to WizardLM, Wizard Coder, and today they say, hey, yeah, we have this here. And by the way, there are two results of GPT-4 and ChatGPT. There are the results 67 that is reported by Meta two days ago, by the official GPT report that was published five, more than five months ago, in the last official GPT-4 report. Now, the current performance of GPT-4 is significantly higher because the model has been modified. The current GPT-4 performance on this particular benchmark is not 67, but is 82. And they said, hey, we verified this ourselves with the latest API, and they say, yeah, 26th of August 2023. And then I started to get a little bit angry with Meta. You know what I did not want you to see is published on August 24th that the performance, the current performance of GPT-4 is 82. So compared to their code llama model, 33, 36, 48. I mean, nobody expected Code Llama to beat GPT-4, but to have a official company meta presentation by Facebook making this here and referring not to the actual performance state of GPT-4 is a non-professional way of presenting here the company. So. In my last videos, please notice that the data that Meta published are not the actual data valid for August 2023, but are data that are more than five and a half months old. So Meta published the old GPT-4 data. Great. But there is something positive. Because I went here, you see GitHub, to this repo where they have this new. So please have a look. And as you can see, just four hours ago, they did their effort and compared a lot of coding for this particular benchmark data set. And as you can see here in orange, they have the closed source. In blue, there's the open source. And in green is their model. And as you can see here, GPT-4 here, significant data, 82%. But then we have the model by them, by Wizard LM, the Wizard Coder, with 73, which I think is amazing in the performance. And then we have ChatGPT on place number three. So I think, yeah, and Code Llama is somewhere else. So if Look, look at here all the complete data that they performed this human evaluation benchmark. And as you can see here, here you have the Llama 2, 70 billion free trainable parameter model. Here you have then the code Llama 13B that a lot of people will use. But you know what? What I really do not like. This here is their best published performance code Llama model fine-tuned on Python in the 34 billion free trainable parameter model. And you know what they did not want it to happen? 
that we could see here the distance to the actual performance of actual LLMs. And this is something I do not appreciate. So here is a graph. Here's a picture that shows you, look, this is the difference to GPT-4. I'm so sorry, Meta, but this is not the way to go. But you know what? And this is something that makes me almost angry. Just two days later, after Meta published the Code Llama Python 34B model, some open source community member, some absolute genius coder, took the Code Llama and did a fine tuning on Python in a completely different way than Meta did it and achieved a jump from 53 to 73%. 20% point jump is amazing in a benchmark. And it just happens two days later. And you know what? Since this is now open source, Meta will just take it. So what all the scientists and research and hundreds of people did not achieve, Meta can now take the solutions two days after they open sourced their Code Llama model, the solution by the open source community, and in particular here, Wizard Coder, shows them the way forward in a significant leap. And here's the creator of this. And I will make a video in the next weeks about here Wizard LM, powered by this Evolve instruction methodology. I will make a deep dive. I want to understand what is so genius that he outperforms even just a published model by all the scientists from Meta AI. So here we are now, Wizard Coder Python. And I have write a Python code for sorting a list. Sorted function, sort method, list sort method with a key parameter. This is easy. So our Wizard Coder Python 34 billion tree trainable parameter. Now on the task, extract the information from a YouTube video and summarize the complete text of a video with an LLM, especially trained for summarization. And here we have the result. Okay, this is the code. We have Google authentication. Okay, yes. Then we have the credential for our YouTube API client. Okay. Then we have the video ID. Yeah, good. Okay, remove extra white space. Oh yeah, and then we have summarized the complete text with a language model, model summarization, model summarize. Okay, it is trained for Python. And what I wanted is more or less, I compare it here now with GPT-4 code interpreter, which is my mistake. I should focus on Python. So let's say, analyze the text with a chain of sort method for logical reasoning, and in addition, explain each code step by step for me to learn. So what we have here, Python code, yes, yeah, spacey, okay. So we load the English NLP model, yes, and then we have a sentence to be analyzed for logical reasoning. Oh, I see spacey library. So we are not even in the age of LLMs. We are really in Python, in deep Python, before here sentence transformer were generated. Okay, spacey. Yeah, it is true. This is a Python code. What I was looking for was a PyTorch or a TensorFlow 2 or a Keras 3 implementation. Okay, so what about write a Python code for extracting all web link from an online web page? Let's see this. This should be something really in Python without anything else. And here we go. Yeah, beautiful soup. That sounds good to me. Pulling data out of HTML and XML files, yeah. Manipulate, find all method to extract all the links from a web page. Yes, here's our request, get your beautiful soup, find all A, yeah, print the links. Okay, beautiful, succeeded. So you see, this is it. I'm not allowed to mix it up with GPT-4 code interpreter, but for Python, it's great. So there you have it, Wizard Coda Python 34B, much more efficient and much better performance than any code llama model you can find. Give it a try, you will be surprised.